He said two. Did he do something like that last Every week? Every time. Just, yeah, yeah. Shout out to Kevin. What's up, man? How you doing, Kevin? Ke- he got COVID. Uh, oh, okay. He doesn't have his mic turned on. Hi. How you guys doing, man? I'm Rod, aka Modest Media, and uh, we have a skeleton crew today. Uh, <laughs> I don't know if you want to shoot to wide shot to see who's all here. <laughs> oh, reliable. Yeah, there you go. Skeleton. <laughs> that shit look like a skeleton. We got the arms and shit. <laughs> I know. <laughs> <laughs> the, all this room. Right. Right. <laughs> Right, hey, but nonetheless, man, we are gonna hold it down, you know what I'm saying? Um, oh and and, uh, and do this thing, man. But like, yeah, welcome to another dead end. Uh, we uh, FIFO has uh, is out 
I don't know if he's announced anything, but yeah, FIFO's out. Uh, B is still in the wind. He's traveling. And uh, yeah, so yeah, it's just us, man. Uh, the, the three amigos. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, myself, Kenneth B. Inch, and uh, Mike Seatown. So, you know, still a solid crew, you know what I'm saying, with, with heavy opinions on hip hop. But um, yeah, man, uh, thank you for tuning in. Uh, like I said, we do this every Sunday at 2 p.m. Uh, today, we are talking about hip hop takes that have aged poorly with us. At first, I didn't know if it was just in general, like hip hop takes in general, mm. but we're talking about ourselves that we said over time, right? Stuff that's uh, aged poorly. Uh, before I get f further into the show, I uh, just want to uh, let you know that um, Super Chats are heavily encouraged. Are they Owen? Yep, okay. yep. We already got one from Jude. That cool. was the guy that sent the track in. <clears throat> okay, cool. Super Chats are heavily encouraged on the show. Um, it helps support the show. Uh, especially the people behind the scenes like Isaiah on camera, Jalen on audio, and Kevin on the switching of the cameras. Uh, so, yeah, it definitely helps our production um, when you send in those super chats. Uh, also, being a patron supporter helps that. Uh, YouTube membership, all of that stuff helps, man. So we definitely appreciate the uh, contributions that you've been making to Denny Hip Hop over the years. So thank you for all of that, for all of that. We are a little behind, so you will have until about... Uh, uh, what I say about three, uh, two, two forty, two forty to get your super chats in. So I'm gonna give you an extra ten minutes to get your super chats in. Um, so yeah, um, it's funny. I I didn't know we have a system in place where we can um, go and look at notes and stuff. And um, Jalen, you know, was so kind to put notes in here. Um, but I went online to find. <laughs> you what? say you didn't know, huh? You said you didn't know we had a system? No, I said I didn't know that he had put them in there, in the notes. Uh -oh. I said we have a system, but I did not know that Jalen had put notes in the system <laughs> of stuff that, of takes that we've said over the time. Oh, okay. So what I was going to say is, is that, so I went online to look up hip hop takes, because I didn't realize that we were going to, it was going to be our, and, the, and Dead and Hip Hop popped up. Mm. We were like top search. So Damn. when I looked up uh, hip hop takes that age poorly, our shit came up. So Reddit oh, came up. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. So our Reddit page came up. And so when I was comparing the Reddit to what's in here, I guess it's the, it's the same type of stuff or whatnot. Um, so yeah, but I'll, I'll go by his notes since he took the time to put the notes in here. So, are y'all ready? Hmm? Are y'all ready? <laughs> I think I'm ready, <laughs> shit. I said, this I said a lot of shit. It kind of sucks because so many people aren't here to defend themselves, hmm. um, but it is what it is. That's their fault. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, is, it, is what it, it is what it is. I mean, that should be the main take. I, FIFO 24 bro. <laughs> 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 bro. That's the main take that did not age well. <laughs> <laughs> bro. Hold on, something ain't right. It's only reading like 63 people. I know it's more than 63 people in here. No, it's 261. Okay, yeah, mine, mine is, I don't know what's going on with mine. I'm like, wait a minute. Right. What's going on? Right. Wait a minute. So I deserve more than 63. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I'm about to take, waste my breath. <laughs> oh, 63 <laughs> motherfuckers. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> No, nah, shout out, shout out to y'all. Even if it was just 63, you I would still give my ass. <laughs> yo, I will be like, yo, y'all still want to do this? <laughs> <laughs> yo, if there's only 63 people here, I might really reconsider, like, rescheduling this shit. <laughs> oh, God. Well, that is shit. washed. <laughs> right, right. We're going to take a 15. God. You know, let the people come into the, uh, into the uh, altar. Oh my God. <laughs> um, all right, man. Look, all right. <laughs> uh, shout out to the super chats coming in. We see you, man. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. All right, man. So let's start. Let's start with these uh, takes. Where am I shit at? Oh, I'm sorry. One second. I just had mm. it up and I lost it just like that. All right. Hold on. Fuck. Where's no shit? All right. So, collectively, uh, saying, call me if you get lost won't win a Grammy. I don't remember this take. I think that Damn. was me. Did yeah. we say that? He said I'll, collectively. I'll, eat, I'll but... eat that one. I think that was me. I probably agree with you. Maybe. If, I don't if remember they said it. all of us. Mm -hmm. mm. Yeah, I don't. I don't. I don't remember that. I mean, I love that album. I still listen to it today. 
So, and I, I don't remember hating it um, mm -hmm. when it came. I don't think out. any of us did. I think we were just questioning whether or not it would be Grammy. Oh, because it was nominated at the time, yeah. something like it that. It was more of a statement on the Grammys, not his album. Because we, I think we all. Oh, I got that you. Album. I got you. So when yeah. it came out, I was like, oh yeah, no way, that's gonna win a Grammy. Oh, yeah. oh wow, it's, it's, it's possible. Still a bit of a shocker that it won a Grammy, to be honest. Yeah, I don't think that was a crazy take. I think it was just. It was a completely normal take. It's just a matter of the Grammys decided to do something a little unexpected. It's still age poorly, nonetheless. Though. Mm. Oh, Fleazy81 said FIFO predicted it. Mm. And, 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 and he said that we disagreed. Mm. Uh, I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. It's I possible. Know. I mean, look, they, gonna, they definitely going to call us out on it. But yeah, that's. That was oh, me. okay, okay. FIFO predicted he would win a Grammy. And I think we disagreed. And we disagreed that, right. that nah, it would be that it. album. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's yeah. what somebody's saying. Okay, okay. I'm not looking at it right now because I'm trying to look at the uh, notes or whatever. So yeah, y'all had to keep me. On. Damn. Yeah. Um, so okay. no, nah, even even to this day, I mean, congrats on him. But yeah, I'm still surprised it, it won. Me too. So, yeah, yeah. That that it's a wrong take, but it's not that wild of a take. We just got yeah. it wrong. Yeah. Shit. It aged poorly. It aged poorly. Yeah, yeah it aged poorly. Man. We're gonna we're edit wrong. that shit out. Yeah, we're wrong. <laughs> <laughs> Your mama aged poorly, ho. Oh shit! Damn. What? <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. Your mother's beautiful. Whoever I'm talking so, to, everyone, everyone's mother is beautiful. So this was collectively, but I'm sure it wasn't. My, it, it probably was just actually Ken oh, and damn. Mike. Oh, this gotta be about Drake, bro. I came from behind the camera. I came from behind the camera. Gotta be about Drake. No, bro. it's not about Drake. Oh wow! It's about the Goblin review. On the Goblin review. Will said that Tyler won't be relevant in ten years and should only do horror theme rap. I don't know. Either one of us said that. I don't remember that either. I don't remember saying that. And if I did, I would definitely say that's a shitty, rude take, and it definitely mm -hmm. aged poorly. But I don't remember saying that. Yeah. That Tyler. I think y'all just didn't really care for the album like that. I don't remember it going that deep and say, "Yo, Damn, he'll be irrelevant in ten Tyler years." Like that? It, huh? was more, it was more so going in on FIFO. I think we were just being mean <clears> to FIFO. Because FIFO said he really liked it, mm -hmm. and for some reason, and I did too. On. I came from behind. That's when I came from behind the camera and said how much yeah. I liked it. Okay, so we you had gave the, the camera to be. Yeah, I gave the camera to be. Yeah, B, I and, then, that. and then I was just like, "Yo, this is classic. What y'all talking about? All that? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it was just kind of. So that's why I know. I, I, it, it Ophelia, been get out the I chat. Said. What did he say? What he was like, said? "Nah, both y'all said it. <laughs> <laughs> said that he wouldn't be Ophelia. We said he wouldn't be relevant. That mm. seems like a shitty thing to say, but." Damn, that's early, bro. Early dead yeah. in. That's early. Early dead in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah if I said that, I apologize. That <laughs> yeah. was crazy. not. Yeah. He's like, that sound like a shitty take. <laughs> that's a really terrible take. I mean, in hindsight, yeah, but at the time, was it? I mean, you. You know, it was a bunch of kids that were making offensive rap that nobody really was like. It was almost like it was meant for a certain type of mm. genre or <laughs> listener. Mm. No one knew that our future was gonna blow up like that. I no. I liked the stuff before Goblin. I didn't really love Goblin like that. And I definitely remember us talking about horrorcore and all that. I just don't remember saying he should only do horrorcore rap and he's not gonna be relevant in 10 years. Well, we but were, look, I'm not saying I didn't say it. I'm just saying I don't remember it. I mean, we were kind of, I mean, well, not we, but I mean, if you wanna say that our future isn't relevant now, I mean, that's, that's a thing. Yeah, well, this is so, about Tyler. Yeah, it's about Tyler. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm just, I'm just putting a spin on it or whatever. So yeah, our future isn't. You Man, know, we ain't ducking shit, Big Clipper. <laughs> <laughs> Said we're gonna be ducking, ducking our takes all show. Man. <laughs> Duck these nuts, bro. <laughs> <laughs> That's what's up. Like I said, if I if I said it, I apologize. I just don't remember saying it. But I said yeah. a lot of stupid shit back then, though. Yeah. Okay. All right, moving on to the next. This is another collective. Uh, I don't know if Jesus. this is a. I don't know if this Damn. is a is a uh, what? What you about to say? No, no. That Taylor yeah. Tyler thing is kind of wild. Oh, that's yeah. funny. <laughs> I don't know if this is a is is a a take that uh, aged poorly. Hmm. Uh, Nas was the problem on Nasir. He was right. How's that aged poorly? I think they're looking <laughs> at his run on Kings uh, with Hit Boy. Yeah, but that was we talking about Nasir. He yeah. was the problem on Nasir. Or maybe they're saying Nas wasn't the problem. It was Kanye. How do we know that? Nas's rapping wasn't great on Nasir. No, it wasn't. I mean, the, the production definitely wasn't there, but also yeah. he didn't sound inspired. Like, yeah. Yeah, he didn't sound, I'm, from what I remember. It's so, it, like, do people even still remember that album? No. Wait, Nasir, which album is that one? The one he did with Kanye. The one with Ye. Oh, that's, that's a much, much okay, I actually read something about that album like a month ago. 
Okay. Somebody in Nas' camp apparently was like leaking stories about it and like how that album was thrown together and how I like Kanye really wasn't like paying attention to Nas and like just sending him stuff last minute and how apparently on the way to the listening party Nas was like recording verses in the car. I remember that, yeah. Yeah. And like the whole album just it just, it just wasn't put together correctly. It was hmm. just all bad. So oh, so that's what they saying. I still think Nas was a problem on it though. I don't. I don't think that was a, a take that age poorly. I, I think they both just. What well, it just wasn't a good collaboration. Unless it took most of that information, y'all didn't have access. Yeah, you didn't know that back then. Yeah, yeah. Even if we did, I'd still say Nas wasn't rapping. Same, well. same, same. So yeah, I, I didn't. I didn't really get that one. I think they're being too literal. I don't think we said Nas was the only problem. Yeah. I'm sure we said that the, the beats just wasn't. Yeah, I'm the, sure. The beats I, weren't great. I would have to go back, but I I, I remember like, because I don't think I was on that review, but yeah, I'm sure that we did criticize the beat. The it result. sounds like they're blaming Kanye way more than Nas, and they're mm. removing accountability from Nas because he only <laughs> had four days to do it. Mm -hmm. Well, this dude is saying on the... I'm, I'm assuming he's, he's means Nasir, but on the Nasir review, you guys repeatedly said the beats were fine, mm. but Nas didn't show up with good raps. Mm. Okay, so are y'all saying yeah. the the raps were good? That's why I'm confused. Mm -hmm. I don't. Yeah, I still don't think don't, that take age poorly because yeah, the raps weren't good. <laughs> Maybe they all right. We all be gonna be dunking these fucking. Uh, <laughs> 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 uh, see, I, but I, that one I really did was confused. I I, I thought we mm. said that. I think this one is is <clears throat> it depends on perspective, mm. like, um, and and how you view it. I think we have a lot of info now on mm -hmm. on Kanye and his antics, we have more information than we'd have at the time about why the rapping was what it was, but the mm -hmm. rapping also what it was at the time. Mm -hmm. So if you want to remove, if you want to do 80-20 Kanye because he only gave him four days, I right. mean, that's fine, but yeah. it don't change how we felt. It doesn't change Nas's output. Exactly. You know. Gotcha. And why would you wait? Never mind, never mind, never mind. Never mind. I got you. Never mind. All right, uh, if you're just tuning in, uh, like I said, Super Chats are heavily encouraged here. Um, if you turn into the show, you know that. Uh, but you right now, you have about 15 minutes to get uh, Super Chats in. So, yeah, if you're going to do God. that, send those in now. That's questions, statements, uh, Super Stickers, all of that. So, yeah, you have about another 15 minutes to get those in. Definitely appreciate it if you do that. Um, this is the, the last one from the notes. Uh, I am not familiar with this. They said Rat King Review. What is what, what happened? Rat King. I think that they're probably talking about me because I was pretty meh on that album. Rat King? Rat King. We reviewed it. What was The Rat rapper's King? name is Wiki. Wiki. The group was called Rat King. Oh, I don't remember that. Yeah. Was we, I here? Yeah. <laughs> I didn't review it though, right? No, nah, this is when you were still behind the camera. Mostly. Oh, okay. Yeah, I don't remember. So what did you say about it? I just didn't like it. I mean, is that the only thing they put was Rat King review? They didn't give any details? They didn't know details. Well, yeah, I mean, yeah. you don't get any details from us. <laughs> what else Jalen? Jalen did that. Oh, well, Jalen don't get no details. <laughs> I, don't know, I don't know what the issue was. Because I don't remember saying anything yeah. disrespectful about Rat King at all. I just didn't mm. like the album. Okay. So what was it? J oh, he's in the bathroom. He's in the restaurant. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's Jalen! All it's all good. It's all good. We can move, move on. We can move on. We only got like 15, 20 minutes. Uh, Wipe your ass and come answer this question, boy. <laughs> uh, moving on to individual takes. So oh this is Lord. where it gets oh interesting. Oh boy, yeah, this is bad. Let me get All ready. Right. <laughs> Let me get ready. <laughs> get yourself uh, together. <laughs> Shit, I, I know right. I fired them bitches off. I'm gonna start with myself. <laughs> I I didn't see many many takes that I had. Like 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 I looked on in the notes. It's only one. You didn't talk that much back then. I guess so. Yeah, I guess yeah. that's probably probably it too. But um, I have one here, and then when I was looking on the Reddit, I didn't see many on the Reddit. So I was just like. Now, on is the mic still on and all that stuff? I have a lot of takes, a lot of takes when it comes to like just social separate issues. I'm a man of contradictions, it's fine. Uh, but um, yeah, but with rap and hip hop, I don't really have that many, I don't think. Mm -hmm. Um, so the one that they had for me was Drake can't sell out arenas. That was a terrible take mm. at the time, Drake it was can't a terrible sell take. Out arenas. So he, he's, I, I still don't know this, so he sells out arenas. Yes. <laughs> Huh? That's the only one he can tour right now, I think, is in a race. He's too big to go to regular venues. Okay, okay, okay. I'll, I'll eat that. I'll eat it. I mean, yeah, I'll eat it. I think it started turning to can he sell out more arena, sell out arenas like Jay? I think it turned into that yeah, conversation. I think, I think that was why he said that because yeah. it was in comparison to Jay. It was in comparison to. Love your heart. So, you know, you were gonna, you were gonna yeah. Shout out to Jay, by and the way. That's how that's how you stepped into that wild statement. 
Got you, got you. Shout out to Jay, by the way. It's his birthday. If y'all didn't know that, y'all welcome. December 4th. <laughs> Nigga, we get it. <laughs> <laughs> Since Kevin want to talk shit. <laughs> <laughs> nah, but yeah, nah, I'll eat that one. I'll eat that one. Um, I, I mean, I'm a Drake fan. I just didn't know. I, I personally don't go to Drake concerts. Even though I'm a big fan, I don't go to his shows. So I don't know it. Right. I, I didn't know it. To, yes, so. you do. No, I swear. You know Drake is one of the biggest rappers I do. in the entire world. Yes. So the why world. would you think he can't sell out an arena? I don't the know. The biggest rapper. I don't know. World. I don't know either. I don't bro. know, man. I, I just I don't know. <laughs> like, like, <laughs> and you were arguing it too. Like, he nah, really was. you gonna tell me that Drake, the guy with all these platinum albums, you gonna tell me Drake, <laughs> the guy that. That sells a zillion fucking units a week. You tell me Drake can sell an arena? Dang. Nah, I don't, I don't think so. Six. I don't think so. <laughs> I remember people really criticizing his performances. Like I remember, like they used to really criticize how he actually performed. I can it's see It's one that. thing to ha- to be, you know, a, a top selling artist, sure. but it's another thing to perform that. So I remember all the criticisms. Do you remember that? I remember they used to go about the Crockett. Yeah, he used to do that shit. He was really whack. <laughs> his shows were whack. But people still, go, people still go. Yeah, I guess. It's I, like Transformers movies. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 Yo. You go yeah. with a certain expectation. You know I it's going to be bad, but it might be entertaining. You're going to like yeah. the song. You're going <laughs> you're to like the robot. Exactly. So I got you. So, so in my mind, because I don't go to Drake's shows, sure. I, just yeah. like, I just like his music. Yeah. I assume, I just assume maybe. So yeah, I think that's oh. what it was. Yeah. Michael Perry. I mean, kind of. <laughs> that's hilarious. So yeah, that's the only one I have for me. Kid, on the other hand. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> Rob, Rob, Rob Costa said everything in all caps. <laughs> everything. All oh, my oh, 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 everything. Yeah. <laughs> what are we going to do? We're going to do Ken, me, Ken, me, and the, or you're going to do all the Kens in one. I'm going to just do all the Kens. Okay. Yeah, I'm just going. Yeah. Oh, Lord. Shit. All right. Here we go. Yeah, let's set, settle yeah. in. Oh, oh, buckle buckle it's, it's, it's only four in here. It's only four. It's four. Only four. Oh, they That's do. It? They do. Three, four. You got four. You got four, too. You got four, too. Yeah. Uh, yeah, they didn't put uh, bees and stuff in here, but I, I can go to Reddit for those just to kind of put them out there. B in my FIFO. But uh, Ken, the number one one. You already okay, know. Okay, I already know that one. They're in the chat with the same bullshit. 808 and Heartbreaks oh. Tank. That's the one. That's, oh, so that's that, the one? That's one. That, that's one. So 808 Heartbreaks Tank. That's, that's a bad one. So, so you still stand by that. It don't age poorly. You still stand by that. Yo. What was the actual take, though, that they're complaining about? It's just the 808s. It, whatever take he has, and I think the take is that you you think it's not good, right? Yeah, but yeah, but that's not really much of a yeah. I don't yeah. yeah. I don't think that's a, a good age one. poorly thing. Okay. Nah, because I mean he, you still don't like it, right? Hmm. Sounds like no. it aged pretty well. Yeah, yeah. It's a personal <laughs> thing. Yeah, <laughs> you know. Yeah, but I think people just think the take is not good. Or not a good take. I think that's what. Yeah, it but is. it didn't age poorly though. Right. Yeah, yeah. Because by that point, the album was already old. So how yeah. could it, and that, yeah. and you know, mm-hmm. people think it was a bad take then. They think it's a bad take now. It's though, you know. Okay, but you, I know wrong. I know which one you're talking about. That you think it is that, the, and we just finished talking about mm-hmm. it. Is Drake is declining pop, in our, um, popularity? Yeah. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. I, I, I still think he doesn't move the culture in the way that he used to. Mm, so you, so again, this is one of the things. And that I'm you not don't atta- age poorly. Yeah. I'm not attaching it to numbers, people. And there, you know, and I, I can point to his numbers. Week over week, mm-hmm. dude, we declining dramatically. Got you. So this is an actual, legit, age poorly take of yours. Because I agree, those first two do- isn't like an age poorly thing. Mm. But this one definitely is. Oh, Cardi Lord. B will have 15 minutes of fame. Fuck. That's an age poorly. <laughs> <laughs> that one aged poorly for you. Ooh. Yeah. That one God aged poorly damn. for you. Yeah, yeah. She definitely Bruh. has and exceeded that. So it, it ain't so bad that <laughs> I even like Cardi B now. Like I'm yeah. just like Cardi B is so she's just interesting. Yeah, she's such a character. She bro. is. She's very interesting. And I'm like, damn man, I'm glad, I'm glad she she stayed around. I was I was like for sure that Cardi B would be gone. Me by too. Now. Yeah. yeah. No, yeah. Too. I guess both of y'all had that take. Yeah. Um. Yeah, I think you were the only one that kind of disagreed. It was me and FIFO, I believe. Oh, he FIFO. was there? Yeah, he was there. Oh. Yeah, that was one of the times he was there. Mm. <laughs> yeah. Um, oh, yeah. Shout out to Othelius, too, because um, he, he, um, he does these sometimes. Um, so, yeah, d- make sure you, um, if you haven't seen the shorts that he does uh, for Dead and Hip Hop, uh, make sure you go on the channel and watch those shorts. Sometimes Damn, were, those, were those my exact words? You, I don't know if it was exact, <laughs> but I'm sure Othelius will find it if it is. Uh, 
Yeah, shout out to him, man. Um, and the last one is kind of another personal one or whatever, but I think mm-hmm. he retracted it later is what they're saying. Not liking Summertime 06. Oh, yes. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah I, I went in. I, yeah, I won't say I, I probably did, but mm-hmm. yeah, I did not like that album. Mm-hmm. And just over time. So that one definitely aged poorly for me. Yeah. Just in terms of me coming back around to liking it. Yeah, yeah. Because, yeah, I did not like that album, and I was definitely wrong on that one. Yeah. Uh, okay. Eventually, I definitely did retract and reverse my decision. I missed that one. Yeah, I'm really surprised you didn't like Summertime 06 when I went back and actually listened to it. Um, but before I move on to Mike, real quick, uh, guys have 10 minutes. 10 minutes to get your Super Chats in if you're just now tuning in. Uh, make sure you send those in. Uh, you know, what's some of your takes? Uh, or do you remember some other stuff that we said that you're like, yo, that was a horrible take? that age poorly so yeah just let us know how we were wrong about something y'all i know y'all love to do that <laughs> but mike i'll defend all my takes <laughs> you ain't gonna defend this one i bet i will which one is it is it about logic <sighs> I'll, de- I'll defend it logic has a ready to die in him was mike's take that's fine and i think uh Othelius actually pointed this out in a video so i would love to hear how that did not age poorly I still think he has it in him. He just hasn't let it out. Okay. <laughs> All right. I, okay. I respect it, bro. <laughs> Hell yeah, Mike. <laughs> fuck these hoes, bro. Yeah, <laughs> fuck these hoes. Fuck these hoes. Right. <laughs> 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 Look, I can, I can dislike Logic's last however many albums he's put mm. out. I've never taken back that I think he's a great rapper. And when he first came on the scene, he was incredibly creative. Mm. I still, I, I think the issue is this with Logic, and this isn't even a shot at him. I think he got, he got big too quick. Mm. So he didn't, he didn't stay hungry. When he first came out, he was hungry, and he was trying to prove himself. And I think that he got so big so fast, he no longer cared about proving himself, and he didn't put out that ready to die. But do I still think that Logic can do it? Yeah. I still think Logic is a good rapper, and I think he's creative. He's just, you know... Putting out some bad work. Hey man, you stand by your take, man. Yeah. You stand by your take. God damn. All right, okay. Maybe one day that ready to die will come out. <laughs> <laughs> it hasn't yet. You think he still has a ready to die in him? I think it would take a lot to pull it out of him because oh, I don't think man. that he even cares at this point. To, right. See, here's the, I think that Logic probably thinks every album he puts out is a ready to die. Hmm. He needs someone that's gonna be like, look, nah. When you were when you were doing this shit, this is when we saw something special. Mm-hmm. But now it's a little bit of a different story. But yeah, I still think Logic has a lot of talent in him and a lot of potential to be something very, 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 you know. A ready to die is man, that's maybe ready to die is an exaggeration. <laughs> <laughs> I'll take it back now. <laughs> <laughs> I, I was I may have been a little bit hyperbolic, but the whole point is: Does Logic have a genre-defining classic album mm-hmm. in him? I still say yes. Mm. I just don't think we're we're gonna hear it. Okay. All right. Hey man. Hey, look. Like I said, man. Stand by your tape. Um. Next one is uh. I don't remember this one, but uh. They somebody does. Uh. Travis Scott sounds like Drake in the rodeo review. Okay. Does he not? Uh. Probably not. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't listened probably to the album not. in a while, so maybe that's a bad take. I don't know. It sounds like a bad take. I don't think okay. I don't think Travis Scott sounds like Drake on at radio. all. Okay. Yeah. Does he sound like Drake now? No. Oh, yeah. so I got I got it flipped. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So I don't remember that review. I don't remember you saying that. But yeah, it's, it's uh. I don't remember saying that. Either. Was that the one? It was one review that you came for that wasn't the right thing. What was I that? remember that. Was that a? I thought that Astro was Astro World. World. Mm-hmm. And he's and Astro he just World. sat there. Yeah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> That's hilarious. Um, mm, this is interesting. J. Cole is average on multiple reviews. Okay. So you don't think that aged poorly, that he's an average rapper? Mm, this is I, a good one. I think, I think my tone probably aged poorly. I think I could have said that in a better way. Okay. Um, but no, now, yeah, I can say that aged poorly, because mm. I, I, but I haven't gone back to a lot of those projects. But the things that I've heard from J. Cole definitely make me think that I was missing something. I just haven't mm-hmm. had a chance to go back. So, yeah, I'll take that. If that aged poorly, that's fine. I de- I've, already, I've already said in reviews that I was wrong about J. Cole. And 
he apologized to the man. I mean, he probably didn't see it and he probably wouldn't accept it anyway because I was such a dick. But mm-hmm. yeah, I've already, I've said many times I was wrong about J. Cole. Got you. Okay. <laughs> All right. Um, before I give you your last one, um, real quick, y'all have five minutes to get your super chats in. Um, so this is the last one in, um, in our notes that we have for you. And I don't know if this is 100% wrong, actually. But you said pro era members will move past odd future. Um, I don't remember saying that either. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, yeah, no, nah, that, 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 that. So I looked in Notion and I saw that Jalen had put the takes, but I intentionally didn't read them because I okay. wanted to be surprised. Yeah, 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 yeah. I don't remember saying that at all. But is that a bad take? I really? Bad take, I don't know. I, 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 see, my thing was, I thought maybe, see, I, I thought the opposite. If I put it in here, y'all would go and try to look and see exactly what y'all said. But yeah, I should have just said that. Um, I took it as maybe you were saying like the pro era members would be bigger than Odd Future. I probably was, mm. but I don't think there are. Like They're I mean, not. you think about Frank yeah. Ocean, think about Earl, think about Tyler. Mm-hmm. I don't see anybody from pro era as big as any of them. Like, At all. like you really, you really even Joey's yeah. not. Joey's big, but I don't even see him being as big as them. Okay, so I feel you. That's a bad take, then. Absolutely, that's absolutely a bad take. I can see why you. Would. Oh yeah, at, at the time I understand why he felt that way. Let's wait, but hold on, let's clear up something real quick. Mm-hmm. I am not apologizing for not liking someone's music. Please stop. Like I, I've I've been kind of scanning through these these comments. Y'all mm-hmm. love to just take motherfuckers shit and twist it up. That's not what I'm apologizing for. I'm a I'm apologizing for being an asshole. <laughs> I still don't like certain people's music, but I don't think there's a reason to be like you suck, you're whack, you should stop rapping. I said from the beginning, I said, I think I was probably bad in my tone with how I said it. So that's what it is. I'm not apologizing for not liking people's shit. That's, mm. that's, not, that's not what this is. Got you. All right, cool. So that, that was the ones that was in the notes for us. So like I said before, uh, I realized there were some in notes I had went to Reddit. So shout out to Reddit, man. Like uh, y'all, y'all showed up and had some comments in here. But uh, oh. so let's, let's go with some members that aren't here today. <laughs> mm. Do they have some in there? Yes. Oh wow. Well, yeah, on Reddit. Okay, real quick. Yeah. Darian. <coughs> please. You, you've asked about KOD yes. like 30 times, bro. <laughs> uh I don't know if it I don't I mean, I don't know if it aged poorly. I haven't gone back to it. Mm. It's probably a great album and I was probably being a dick. Or I still might not like it. Mm. So my take might not have, I, again, I think my tone aged poorly. <laughs> I didn't have to be so mean about the fact that I didn't like it. Mm. That's what I'm saying. But the album is probably fine. Yeah. All but right, cool. See, you got that for free, bro. <laughs> <clears throat> he was adamant, huh? Jesus. Um, this is funny. Somebody said, me saying Kenny Mason or any artist is done after making the album I don't like. Don't like. <laughs> that, is, that is true. <laughs> you feel good for that. You are good for you, that. That's you a very accurate that. statement. That is Absolutely. accurate. <laughs> they that. falling off. You don't like the shit. <laughs> <laughs> their career is over. I do yeah. not like this album. Career this motherfucker over. done. <laughs> <laughs> done. Like, done. What, kid? Kanye been done for 35 <laughs> years. <laughs> oh, man. But yeah, this has to be FIFO's wildest take ever. Not ever. ever. <laughs> not ever. Not ever. But it, it was a very wild take. And we knew in the moment it was a wild take. Oh, boy. <laughs> I don't know which one this one. This is exciting. Which one was it? Said IDK, oh. Is He Real is one of the best albums he's ever heard. <laughs> yo. Oh. Yo, we were like, bro, you sure you want? You sure? You sure you so want me to put it? You sure you want that to make Dude. the final cut? Yo, man. The only person that genuinely deserves an apology is IDK. (laughs) (laughs) Because, and that's not saying the album wasn't great, because the album was great. Right, 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 right. But it was because he said that and then didn't even put him in his top five. Oh, man. (laughs) And I feel like he still owes IDK an apology. He absolutely does. That's just mean. It is. He is. He was like, oh, man, that dead end list coming. Yep. I know I'm on He's like, I know the kid's on it. I know he the was, kid's he on was it. He was tuned in. He was like, what the fuck? Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like we should apologize Yo. to IDK for FIFA. Bro, that shit was crazy, bro. But we knew it. We knew it. We was like, that shit ain't I didn't. Make- I thought that I he did. was going to at least put him in there. Nah, I was just like, you know, no, I don't think so. Because you think- can't say something like I that. Know. <laughs> One of the best albums you've ever know. heard in your life. Oh. <laughs> Yo, so this crazy. means these other five right. are also 
five of the yes. best albums you've ever yes. heard, right? Absolutely. Absolutely. In your life. Not that year. Your life. Oh, life. Shit. Your entire existence. <laughs> your entire existence on this earth. Man. Uh, <laughs> all right. So one of B's, uh, this is interesting, could be like to has one. Hmm. Um, BZ saying Sean never sounded like Biggie on a designer review. Yeah, I don't know what he was talking about. <laughs> yeah. It's I not still, a man. It's not an age poorly thing. It's just a. It's just a wrong. wrong, wrong. Thing. Yeah, right. <laughs> like it was wrong you, then. It was right. wrong a week before that. <laughs> yes, yes. Um, FIFO saying he doesn't want Jay to do any more albums before 4:44. I think that's age. Uh, yeah, poorly because he did like 4:44 and, and um, mm-hmm. yeah, yeah. So it, it's not that bad of a, a, a age poorly um, thing situation. Mm-hmm. Cause it's just one album. It did age poorly though. Two? What other album outside? He did the whole damn Jay Electronic album. Oh, he I did. Think that kind of counts, right? That kind of counts, yeah. yeah. And y'all like that album, right? Yeah, I did. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I liked it. Um, FIFA and Mike being the only ones that like Imperial about Denzel Curry and saw his potential early on. Oh yeah. Yeah, y'all were foul for that, that one. That's you know. that's yeah yeah that's me. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I was. I don't. I, was, I don't remember agreeing with that though. I, I was definitely remember. wrong in yeah. this. Yeah, oh yeah. It was I, definitely I was, you and it was definitely B. B. Yeah, oh, I yeah. think it was just you and B. I was definitely a, a jerk on that. Yeah, because that's when Denzel Curry. <laughs> yeah. was you were. <laughs> yeah. That was the review that made Denzel Curry be like, we were relevant or some shit like that. No, nah, was he, it that he, one? Uh-uh. No, nah, it was it was that review. Yeah. Yeah. It was that review because he said he said he said this. Well, he's, he meant review, but he said this interview was terrible. He meant review. Mm-hmm. This review was terrible. And then I don't remember him saying we were irrelevant, though. But he definitely said this it was review something was like terrible. That. Could that, could that's, that's what made me do this famous, like, fuck this Was first, it yeah. something you said? or was it, I know I said a lot. No, not I me. I feel like he was, res- okay, he was you, responding to you and B. Because y'all yeah, were the first ones. Okay. <clears throat> FIFO opened it up. And I want to say he liked the project. Mm-hmm. But then it moved to you and B, and y'all just went in about yeah. how terrible it was. <laughs> and I, I tweeted to him, and I was like, bro, finish out the review, because it, I liked it too, so it was really a 50-50 thing. But I think he stopped because y'all were being a little disrespectful. <laughs> yeah, I think so. But then but it did it set me off, because I was just like, yeah. well, damn, we ain't had to review this shit. You know what I'm saying? So that's when I was just like, fuck Mr. Curry and all that. Man, and he that. said we were brutal. Y'all were brutal. Oh, he said, we, yeah. we, uh, Thelia said... That we said Denzel sounded like Crucial Conflict. Mm. Damn, that's not bad know. though. Crucial Conflict was fun, but you know what? Oh yeah, I did apologize. You know, I'm sure you did. Yeah, yeah I, look, he apologized too. I, it's, later it's on. about the music for me. If if you turn around and make something that I like, I'll I'll, I'll give it up to you. Mm. But yeah, I, I, yeah, yeah. Y'all were rude. Just 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 so rude. Uh, I'm trying to find another one. Uh, that's them. Okay, that was that was one. Yeah, Rod can't sell out. Yep. Yeah, I mean, uh, there's two more in, on, on the Reddit thread. But no, it's a lot more on the Reddit thread. Oh, okay. Yeah. Well, read read some that you guys. Yeah, 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 yeah. He's yeah. looking. Uh, Fleazy eighty one. Uh, my prediction <coughs> of the rise of grown man hip hop in the May the Lord Watch review around four twenty, and where is it besides this? So I guess. Mm-hmm. I, yeah, I don't. Yeah, I don't think that happened. I think there are just a lot of older people rapping, but I don't think it's. But well, what was your older. actual take saying? I think saying that from you know this album will start a rise in more grown up type of music that can relate mm-hmm. to like people around my age, you know. So I think that album was you know very much about being domesticated, honestly. You know, okay. relationships, marriage, et cetera, et cetera. So, yeah. Uh, I, and I don't think that has happened. Uh, another one for Drink More Water. Mike saying Action Bronson will be irrelevant in three to four years because oh, being shit. a humorous spitter isn't enough. He doesn't write Damn. songs. And what else would he do next during the 2013 XSL freshman list combo? God damn, we'd be saying a lot of shit. Yeah, that's a bad take. But, I mean... Yeah. Didn't Action Bronson start to open up his palate a little more? You get it? How I said palate, like mm. he's a cook. Palate, mm-hmm. see? See, I'm in writer mode. These motherfuckers ain't ready. <laughs> these, very, these guys ain't ready, man. Very Layered very well, Mike. Thank you, bro. I appreciate that, Kev. <laughs> but, you know, if I said that, that's a bad take. Um, I think calling anybody 
well, no, not true. I take that back. Calling somebody irrelevant is, is fine. But I think he did change some of his topics a little bit, and I think he did kind of expand how he writes. Mm. So, but yeah, it was it was still a bad take. I got one. Uh, I guess this would be the last one because we need to get to the Super Chats. Oh, by the way, Super Chats are closed at this point, I think. Damn, yeah, take yeah, that, Super Chats that, are closed. Take that, so if you snuck one in, you know what I'm saying, you got lucky. But uh, yeah, they are closed at this point. You can still, however, send in uh, Super Stickers and stuff like that, but not actual questions. Um, I actually um, was thinking about this the other day, and I and I didn't. Uh, I don't know why I was thinking about it, uh, but Jesus, it's it's considered like a cult classic at this point, and it actually mm-hmm. got really good reviews. But mm-hmm. I think we had a really bad review on it. I don't mm-hmm. think that's a bad. Do y'all take. still do y'all think mm-hmm. that aged poorly? Because I know y'all y'all didn't like the Jesus <clears> album, right? <throat> Nobody no. really liked it, right? My got take a bad has review. not changed. I think that album is awful. Wow. Okay. Fucking you too? awful. You too, you still think yep, it's bad? Yeah, change from that, nah. Wow. And what mm-hmm. about, do you think it aged poorly based on overall consensus of Jesus? Kanye aged poorly. Not Kanye. We're not, not talking about Kanye. Thing. We're not talking about Kanye. We're talking about thing? the album. No. no. Nigga. Wait, what, are you, what are you asking? Did what aged poorly? The album so or the, the take? So the take, the take was that the, the album wasn't good. The, well, see, that's, that's the thing. I, think, I feel like a take like that would only age poorly on Reddit. Because Reddit can't decipher that. I'm saying, when I say, man, this album ain't good, mm-hmm. that's not me saying the album's not good for you or for Ken or for FIFO or for Isaiah. It's me saying I don't like the album. And it seems like Reddit has a really hard time of figuring that out. These aren't definitive statements. They're personal statements. I don't <laughs> like Yeezus. That's hmm. not me saying you can't listen to it. I still, to this day, think that album is god fucking awful. But we are an outlet, right? We are a music outlet. Uh huh. And so we're putting out there that whether it's opinion or not, like we can say that Fantano says it, we say it, it is our, just our opinion. But at the end of the day, people take our uh, take our opinions as partially as what? fact. That's like, their I'm problem. Not, but yeah, I know it's their fault. But we are a publication that that reviews hip hop. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And we can sway. The people, okay, as far as like you know, Don't consuming like certain, yeah. certain type of music. No, I'm just saying we can. They say that shit <laughs> right. <age> poorly. They'd be <laughs> saying you were right. <laughs> you know, but um. But I don't know. I just based off of that is what I'm saying. I understand just like just just in the street, like oh yeah, that shit, the album's piece of trash. But the fact that we are on a on a hip hop channel and saying that. You don't think that's a, a, a take a poorly aged no, take? No, no, because it sounded like we were. Um, and disagreement with the masses at the time, right? I don't know if it, it got a chance to really settle yet. Hmm. Yeah, yeah. I think people. I think that album was very polarizing at, at, because he did a lot of experimental stuff on it and all that. Yeah, it was terrible. Yeah, but yeah, I, I'm not. Yeah, like one of my takes was if somebody else did this <coughs> album, y'all mm. wouldn't give a fuck. Mm. I stand by that 100. Mm. percent If somebody other than Kanye did Jesus. Y'all would, if this was common doing Yeezus, it was called Keezus, mm-hmm. or uh, that didn't work. I don't no, know. it didn't. I don't know who else could, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I could have kept moving, Yo. but I have to accept Yo. blame. <laughs> you know? <laughs> That's part of being an adult. Yeah. Mm-hmm. See, this but, guy, um, Big Doing, Doinks. Big Doings. Big Doings. What? Big Doings. What are you looking at, Rock? Right? Big Doings <laughs> and a mish. What take you got? <laughs> you yeah. know they go age poorly. Big, yeah. do- Big Doings. Big Doings and a mish. <laughs> <laughs> age this, he was kind of saying what I was saying. He's like, but you are a critic, though, so it holds more weight. It's not about holding weight. Uh-huh. I don't understand why people still don't <clears throat> understand this. Okay. Make them understand. Whether man. you're a critic <laughs> or you're a guy screaming on the street. Okay. If you say, man, this album's terrible, mm-hmm. why can you as a human not decipher that that person is saying they don't like the album versus them saying you shouldn't listen to it? I've never told you you shouldn't listen to Jesus. I don't okay. see what the argument is. I really, really don't. Like, this seems like a very immature way of thinking. Okay. That if somebody says they don't like an album, that means that <clears throat> I can't like it. At the end of the day, regardless, it's a take, right? And it hasn't aged poorly because I still don't like the album. I still think it's terrible. Okay. Because I keep going back to it because uh-huh. I keep telling myself <laughs> <laughs> that I should like it. Okay. I keep being like, man, you know what? Let me give it another shot and see if my, my opinion has changed. Because mm-hmm. my opinion has changed on a lot of albums. Mm-hmm. I did a whole video mm-hmm. on my channel about my opinions changing on certain albums. Mm-hmm. Jesus is not one. I still think it's terrible. 
His rapping is terrible. The production is terrible. The concepts are terrible. It's terrible. But that's not saying it's terrible for you. Yeah, I, I think what, I guess, Quandol Dingle. Man, don't be listening to the damn Quandol Dingle. I know it's the name for me, you know, but still, he's saying that they do understand it, but since then shut up. people think it's a classic, then that makes the take wrong. And I, I disagree so with stupid. that. Yeah, hmm. yeah, I, do, I disagree with that. That makes <laughs> no sense. How is it a bad take about not liking an album? Yeah. People, re- I, I think what it really is, and whoever can get mad about this, what I think this is, is this is a very, very clear example of groupthink. Mm-hmm. They, they all think that, oh, well, if, if us 12 like this, then this other three should like it. And if, he, if these other three don't like it, because they're on a public platform, that challenges my opinion. Mm. So therefore, now it's a right and wrong argument versus a, this is his opinion versus my opinion argument. That's mm. all I think it is. And like I said, Quandel Dingle can get mad if he wants, but yeah, you're falling into that. Because somebody else thinking an album's a classic and me not liking it does not make my stance a bad take. It's not about it being a bad take, it's about it aging poorly. What's the difference? Poorly, the difference though. is is like, <clears throat> let's say if it actually became like a, cl- like, like Fantano's uh, review of My Dark Twisted Fantasy, he gave it a very low score. Because he, did, like he didn't like it. Because he didn't like it, right? Right. One could say that that's aging poorly because it's How? like, yo, that this album is heralded as a classic. That doesn't matter. It only ages poorly if he changed his mind. And he hasn't changed his mind. He still does not like the album. So how is that a bad take to say, I don't like this album? Because it's a, it's a take that's aging poorly. How over is it time. aging poorly if I haven't changed my mind? And the album was, yeah, well, yeah. I, I, I think one of the differences is compared to Yeezus is that you said that Yeezus needed time to settle. Mark, my beautiful dark twisted fantasy didn't need that. Like as soon as it dropped, everybody was like, "Oh my god, this is amazing!" Mm. And he was a dissenter. Like he mm-hmm. was like, "Yeah, I think this album is whatever he gave it." It's slightly different, but yeah, I don't know. I just, I guess I just see it the same. Yes, it's an opinion. Um, yes, an opinion can be right or wrong or whatever no, it you can't. want, or, or not. Oh yeah, not right or wrong, but yeah, it's just an opinion. So are are you safe from takes aging poorly because of that? Then yes, mm. yes. Am I safe from people criticizing my opinion? Mm. No. But it's not a take that aged poorly because the take was specifically personal. Now, when when Ken says Drake is washed, that's what I was about to say, okay. That can be argued. You can't argue, no, Mike, you did like Jesus. You can't argue that because I didn't. But the same can say, if he, if he feels like it's declining, it, that's, he has a right to think that. He has a right to think that the fucking sky is checkerboard. Yes. But if he's saying that Drake is falling off and you can pull numbers to say the opposite, then that is a take that you can say aged poorly. You can't pull numbers to say, Mike, you sure did like Jesus. It's a completely different argument. One can be factually proven, the other one can't. As a reviewer and a, as a critic, we should all understand the difference between those two things. I, I think the same thing could be said about your take, too, though. How, bro? Mm. Because How? If, if you say that the album is, oh, I can't believe mm. you're going this long on this. If you say that, this, if you say that the Yeezus album is bad, uh-huh. but everyone else is giving it raving reviews. Yeah. Right? Yeah. I'm you, following. But you. No, I'm just saying. Same as you saying that you could pull numbers on how his his take is wrong. You I didn't pull... say that no one else likes Jesus. I said I don't. Yeah, but how? I don't know, I bro. Don't know. But he's saying that he. Ooh. But he's the only one saying that Drake is falling off. Uh, there's a couple of other articles, but go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit! People finally starting to get it. Oh man. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, uh, shit. All right. Yeah, we, we, all right. I got you. Got it. Got it. Maybe y'all don't. That's okay. All right. Anyway, that's it, man. That's it for the takes, man. Uh, <laughs> uh, that's it for Rob's the, for the, uh, for the, uh, takes that age poorly or whatever. So we're going <laughs> to yeah, move. Right. Look, Rob gave a take that, that definitely didn't age well. I can't believe this is going this long. God. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, your take was terrible. <laughs> Wait, what? I don't follow. I don't he get always it. put like, I can't believe we're going to state sentences and statements that sound questionable. Oh. <laughs> he always do the quote. Oh, that's hilarious. Yeah, he does it on Dead Sports. It's actually um, pretty funny. Yeah. <laughs>
You're right, Cody Man. I'll, look, I like Jesus now, okay? So <laughs> everybody leave me alone. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. All right. Anyway, this is the part of the show where we get to you guys. Uh, Super Chats, thank you for sending those in, man. It's greatly appreciated. Uh, like I said, it helps uh, keep this show running. It helps us come here every week to do this show live for you guys. So without further ado, I'm going to pass it to Kenneth B. Inge to uh, go through your Super Chats. Jude Washington. Remember, this is the guy that sent the song in, so we might have to have somebody pull that up. Because uh, he asked, what did y'all think of my song? And my friend said, Royce doesn't have a classic album. He's wrong. I'm mad at him. Wait, who said that? Jude Washington. Who's so, that? Jude, are you still listening? Are you still with us? Still watching? Let me know. Wait, uh, who said that Royce? I'm sorry. He, I okay, missed, yeah. I missed, I'm sorry. So, my fault. So, Jude said that his friend said that okay, Royce doesn't it. have a classic got in it. him. Got it. Sorry. That he was upset about that. Royce, um, Royce got about 10. <laughs> so, y'all better leave Royce the fuck alone. Yep. So, uh, Jude, hit us up if you're still watching. Um, why and forever? Uh, I don't know if Ken ever checks out the Billboard Hot 100 Year End Chart this year, where it, it compiles all the biggest songs released in 2022. Drake has three songs on there. Kendra has zero. Okay. Nice. Uh, Devontae. Still doesn't prove my point. Uh, Ken been saying Drake's done since his debut, LOL. Uh, Sihar Pitchfork did a short list of 30 greatest Southern rap songs. Mm, might, might be, be worth the discussion. That sounds fun. That does sound fun. Okay, cool. Uh, I found out where they where them dollars at by Gangsta Boo and Pocket Full of Songs by 2DK. Thoughts on those two? Um, oh, he, yeah. Is he saying those aren't on there? Uh, I don't know. He didn't really say that's oh. exactly how he wrote it. I think he's asking us about those songs. Pocket Full of Songs is, Pocket Full of Stones is amazing. Mm -hmm. And talk about a song that bumps in the whip. You put that shit on some 12s mm -hmm. and some 15s. Damn. And they have two different versions of it. Mm -hmm. Damn, it's crazy. Uh, Where Them Dollars At is a classic, classic, <laughs> classic <Absolutely. laughs> anthem. Mm -hmm. mm. Uh, so yeah, we can do that discussion. Um, Donovan, uh, you're locked in a room. Okay. The door doesn't unlock until you've listened to every song of an artist with seven plus albums, plus their mixtapes and features. Who would it be? Shit. Oh, seven plus. Doom. Who you got, Rob? Uh, Jay. Jay. Yeah, that's easy for me. I was gonna say that, but then he, he if I said Jay, he'd be like, "No, nah, I'm not gonna say Jay. I'm gonna say somebody else." <laughs> <laughs> Mm. Yeah. Uh, albums plus mixtape, so they have to have actually seven albums. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they have to. Yeah, because I was gonna try to cheat and just go with somebody that don't have much material, <laughs> like J Electronica. Yeah, Kendra doesn't have <laughs> Kendra doesn't have seven albums, so I'll probably just go with Nas. Does Kendrick not have seven yet? I don't mm -hmm. think he's up to seven. What number is he on? Like four. Or five. Yeah, he takes long breaks. Six. Six? Yeah, he yeah, takes he takes long breaks. Oh, okay. Section 80 is an album, bro. Yeah, it's an album. Uh, right. So if you, if you count album. Section 80, how many is it? Section 80, Good Kid, Little Butterfly, Damn, and This is My Life. Oh. oh okay. You can't count that too, That's actually. You could, you, could probably, you could probably throw Kendrick in there. It's like an EP, nah, though. Gotcha. Okay. Um, Water Maloney, Metro Boomer Review, Album of the Year Contender for me. Uh, well, it's supposed yeah. to be today, but yeah. blame. Say that one more time. If we're gonna review Metro Boomer's album, oh yeah. Excuse did you me. say so yeah? We're, we're gonna try to get to it next week. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah, you did. I you didn't pushed know it back because oh, he wasn't it was your B, idea to push it back. B, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I didn't realize we were gonna push it back. I thought we were just gonna skip. Oh, it. skip it. Oh uh, yeah, yeah. I'm fine with it. Yeah. Um. So we'll we'll talk about it. Mm -hmm. I don't want to commit. It's not really no, it's not really much dropping, so yeah. yeah. Jonathan Abrams. Uh in my opinion, I think To Pimper Butterfly is the greatest rap album of all time. The lyrics help me understand a lot about social issues and mental health. Mm -hmm. Good for you. Yeah. I do definitely. need to go back and listen to that album. It was there's a lot of think pieces on that one, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. I yeah. go back to it and it just makes me want to listen to Damn. I know that's a bad take. I know. <laughs> But yeah, it's just, it's, it's just not my favorite Kendrick stuff. It's not a bad it's project. Like just morale, it's like, it's mm -hmm. it's I'm heavy, with you. Man. I gotta be in a mindset. Yeah. yeah. I it's completely good, agree. It's, Yo, the it's not an album that I put on in the car to ride around to. The youth was not messing with that. Damn, I put on in the car. Damn, I, 
Yeah. Talk I think that's shit. why he created them, too. I, but yeah, the I, youth I wasn't so. messing with the Pimple Butterfly. I, I remember like everyone the youth. was at the time. Nah, mm-hmm. man, the youth really? wasn't really liking it like that. Nah, really? Yeah, because I remember I remember Sophie was saying because she was still in college at the time, mm-hmm. and she was saying how people didn't like the album. Yeah, in, in a, wow. Yeah. Good Kid, Mad City. Mm-hmm. Like that, yeah, my freshman year, we were listening. Yeah. Simple <coughs> Butterfly, but then how? But what Kiko said, it wasn't bumpable. Mm. <laughs> it wasn't bumpable. I get that. Okay. Yeah, uh, I, I agree with everything they just said. Yeah, mm-hmm. in Simmons, uh, if you don't like my vibe, you can jet. That's a small issue. Kenny Mason. Kenny would be a great artist. Ruffs was a dope project. All right. Okay. Jonathan Abrams. Which also, one? the song You is my favorite track on the album. Okay. Samuel Crisanto. Following since 2012. Found the Good Kid Mad City Review. <clears throat> I was 13 and they got me into hip hop. I was researching Nas, J, and Biggie. Oh, wait. Okay. Nas versus J and Big versus Pac and was wondering if you'd do lives and cover or give opinions on major hip hop moments for us young bucks. Okay, I like That's that. That's an idea. Hmm. Yep. All right, that was a lot don't go on the Don't go in the chat, Rob. They doing to you what you were trying to do to me. What's that? Misconstruing what you said. Uh, I told you, don't oh, you told go me in don't there, go in the chat. But I, I, I have to. to help your energy. I'm the host of the show. <laughs> I have to be the chat. <laughs> <laughs> what, what, what bad take I had? You said the youth didn't like to build a butterfly. That's what I heard. I heard the youth didn't like it. Sophie clearly came in here and said, and then Jalen, yeah. who's part of the youth, is what I consider the youth, said, said it himself. He said, yeah, they weren't feeling and it like that. And the chat is also torn on it, so. Yeah, I See? remember it being polarizing a little bit. Yeah, I, I remember that time. They're like, I'm I'm 20, I'm the youth, and I liked it, but Rod ain't talking about you. <laughs> <laughs> right, clearly. <laughs> clearly. Uh, drink more water. I've been on the R&B bench lately. Do you guys know an artist named Chocolate? She released a self-titled album in 2006, which is pretty dope. Y'all should check her out if you haven't heard of her already. Chocolate, Chocolate. with a K. And I have... Chocolate with a K? Yeah. I don't know her. Chocolate spelled, yeah. I'm not familiar with that person. Yeah, hmm. Cool. Well, there y'all go. All right. Water Maloney. Uh, did y'all <laughs> fuck with the Primo EP that dropped a while back? The Lil Wayne and Slit Rick song and the Run the Jewel song with Primo is great. Hmm. What Primo EP? No, I don't know. Did I miss something? Yeah, they got to be. Yeah, it's, yeah. It's, it's, well, there's another rapper, Primo, but I'm sure they're talking about Premiere. Yeah, they got to be because they talk Lil Wayne and Slit Rick. Oh, oh, I didn't know that happened. Yeah, I didn't. I don't think Me I realized it either. either. Was this, this, they said this was this know. year? Mm-hmm. Hmm. Yeah, that's weird. Hey, um, hey, Kev, Rob Costa has a question for you. And for I've been ignoring him. <laughs> <laughs> he wants to know if you could twerk to Tim Pepper. Why would you read it out loud after we just discussed that I was ignoring him? Because <laughs> yeah. it's, yeah. it's not nice to ignore people, Kevin. Damn. Oh, Can you? Shit. No, I'm not doing it. He said because it's the most twerkable album. <laughs> it, it is, right? I guess It ain't so. bubble, but it's twerkable. <laughs> uh, the w- Trey Wild G ranked these four all time. Oh, mm-hmm. shit. Kendrick. Mm. Wayne, mm. Yay, mm. and M. Yay's last. <laughs> you said Yay's last? Mm. If we're talking about just music. Uh, Kendrick, Wayne, M, and and Yay for me. Mm. Oh, you want one to four? four? Yeah. yeah, I went one four. So Kendrick, Wayne, Yay. I mean, M and Yay. I go, shit, I go Wayne. Mm. Um, damn, over Kendrick? Miss tapes. I think so. Yeah, mm-hmm. I think Wayne over Kendrick overall. I think Kendrick will eventually probably be bigger than Wayne, mm-hmm. but Wayne is just still Wayne yeah. like to this day. Yeah. So it's like, damn, man. I'm, I'm a bigger fan of Kendrick than Wayne, sure. but if I'm just being, you know, yeah, mm-hmm. Wayne Kendrick. I'm torn between Kanye and. and but I'm probably personally going to go Kanye then him. Hmm. Yeah. Okay. Um, if I'm ranking them by music discographies only, if I'm discounting the fact that Kanye is a fucking black white supremacist, mm-hmm. then I'm going to say, I'm going to say Kendrick. You know what? Fuck it. Shit, man. I'm see Wayne's gonna be at the bottom for me, and that's not because of his talent. It's because I didn't listen to a lot of those. Yeah, I got tapes. you. I got you. So that's all that is. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I, I might you. put Wayne at the top if I actually yeah, I got you. was there for that. 
So it's really a question of M's discography versus Ye's discography. Who has more turds? At this point, I'd probably listen to M's turds over Kanye's turds. Mm. I can't put Jesus as King on unless you put a gun to my fucking head. And I might still then just be like, Yo, Lord, I'm coming. So I think it would have to be Kendrick, M, Ye, and then Wayne. Mm. But I am going to go back to those Wayne mixtapes, though. I, I, I really do want to sit down with all of those and listen to them. I want to go back and re-listen to them all, too. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Some songs hit, some songs don't. But, uh, yeah, but, yeah, yeah but, they, but they were, you know. It was a moment, It was bro. just on a, on a yeah. tear, yeah, man. I hate moment. that I missed this moment because it sounds yeah. like it was really, really, really something for people. Yeah, he was on a tear, mm-hmm. man. Uh, Jonathan, uh, again, also I love Killer Mike's rap music. I just love To Pimp a Butterfly more due to my... Due to more of my own mental health issues and to Pimper Butterfly help me more. Awesome. I have seen that argument more lately, the to Pimper Butterfly versus rap music argument. Because I, I, I thought it too, that that would have been a good comparison album, but because um, they both talk about the same type of stuff. But, yeah. Uh, Shapizzle. Looking back at Drake's discography, especially with his last two albums, is it safe to say you underrate it if you're reading this, it's too late? No. Um, I, I don't think, I think for Drake fans, I think that album was really, really strong for them. Um, so yeah, did we, we did that. What's we did. the actual, yeah, we did it. What's the actual question though? If we underrated it. I think so, personally. Um, Cause I, 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 I didn't like it when, we, when I first heard it. But shit, I played the hell out of it, man. Afterwards, like I was just like, "Damn, I if I if I said anything negatively negatively about about it behind the camera, I definitely would take it back because that's why today, because of that album, I don't hold my Drake takes that strongly mm-hmm. when I had when I make them early on because mm-hmm. I, I always say like I'm probably gonna like it later or whatever. Um, same thing with the um the the, the poppy one he just made the. Uh, Honestly, never mind. Yeah, honestly, never mind. Oh. Like some of the stuff I can vibe to. Like I, I can put it on and vibe to it. But yeah, when I heard it, I'm like, man, it's some bullshit. But you know, I didn't want to stand too much behind that because I knew I was gonna like some stuff off of it at some point. Looking back, I definitely uh, remember that being a moment in time mm-hmm. for, uh, for a lot of people that like that sort of stuff. Drake and Future on the record, mm-hmm. and I think he had a lot of songs that that were really popular. That probably people still bump to this day. Mm-hmm. So it's 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 possible that we may, we may have missed that one, or some of us may have missed that one. Yeah, it's a good. It's, I think it's good actually. Just hindsight, yeah. Yeah, I think it's good. <laughs> Do, am I listening to it? No. <laughs> yeah. But just kind of looking back Overall. at the moment and uh, and reobserving it with a different lens, we're like, huh, yeah. This dude said Quentin did his thing on it. You stupid. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh that's yeah, that's funny. when all that came out. Mm-hmm. Yeah, got you, got you. Uh, Go Crazy 30, for the end of the year, y'all should do lives for best songs, best verses, features, and best beats similar to the best albums of the year live stream. That's an idea. Fun. That's a lot of work. That's a lot of it work. But lot, it's, it's a a, I think Fantano does it, though. He breaks down the year-end stuff. I've always admired that about what he does at the end of the year. He really breaks down mm-hmm. like, singles and shit. Mm-hmm. Like he be. But, but you know what? Mm-hmm. That's Fantano's only job. <laughs> right. What y'all need to do <laughs> is make it to where we can live like the homie, so we don't have to work a nine to five, and then I can break down any motherfucking thing you said. Right, right. <laughs> Gladly, gladly. That's what you want to know about? <laughs> That's facts. Shit, you want to know who what rapper used the most right. instances hey. of them? Hey. hey, we can really get it too. The whole year. <laughs> oh, let's talk about it. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> <laughs> Straight up, bro. Knowledge. Uh, one got to go forever. Mac, Murphy, Martin, Rock, and Dave. Wait, what? Who are these people? I don't know. I'm trying to <laughs> are remember. Are these your cousins? Murphy. Say that one more time. Me. Oh. Oh, Bernie Mac. Bernie Mac. Oh. Oh, this isn't nice. Bernie Mac, what? Eddie Murphy. Who are the other ones he said? I would, uh, Martin, Martin Lawrence, Martin. Chris on. Rock, and Dave Chappelle. Okay, Chris Rock at the bottom. Yes. Shit. Chris Rock. Yeah, you just got one. He just said one. Oh, he one said one got to go. Yeah, oh, I thought easy. he was ranking them. I'm sorry. Well, Bernie okay. already gone. Who? <gasps> Dude, no, 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 no. That's a bad take. 
That, that and, has, that, and that aged poorly. Right? He said immediately. It. Immediately. <laughs> no, no, no. Immediately. We can't. We that's can't. No. Saying. That's too much. That's too much. <laughs> Who's laughing? Bro, go outside. That's not cool, man. Stop. Jalen is over there laughing all these change of colors, bro. That's terrible. <laughs> Oh, that's not funny, man. Man, they said Martin could go that age poorly real quick. <laughs> Y'all are terrible people, man. You're still laughing, bro. Right, Stop. Man. I'm laughing at you. <laughs> I shouldn't have said that. That was you so I said it. No. You really I thought shouldn't. about it, too. As soon as I read it, I was like, uh, bro. I shouldn't say this, but I, I can't help myself. God. Yeah, uh, Chris Rock for me. Yeah, Chris Rock, definitely. Um, they Water say, Maloney. They're saying Martin. Like, Y'all tripping. They haven't seen the Martin stand-ups then. Yeah, I ain't seen Def Jam. Or, yeah, or Def Jam. Yeah, you're right. Um, what is it? Uh, <laughs> can we finally agree, this is Warren Malone, can we finally agree that Nas is better than Jay-Z? Yes. No, we cannot. <laughs> the fuck y'all talking about? That was, a, that was a, a, an intentional <laughs> trigger. <clearly. laughs> mm. what, why you say mm? Oh, no, I don't have it. <laughs> All right, uh, uh, moving along. I, I don't know. I hate that argument, honestly. To be honest with you. I hate the Nas, and I thought that argument was over. Nope. Um, but, yeah, I, I, particularly, I particularly don't like that argument. I think they're just two different MCs, honestly. <laughs> I do. Well, any two rappers are two different MCs. <laughs> <laughs> I'm saying, like, I don't put them in bad take. <laughs> Asshole. Aging poorly. <laughs> <laughs> there are two different categories when it comes to MC. Yo, you, Why? You, <laughs> I know you, but you fell for God it, so damn. it worked. Oh, Redditor, you did it to me for Redditor, forty-five Redditor, minutes. Redditor slash YouTuber. You did it to me for forty-five minutes oh, earlier. Shit. But wait, you don't think they're the same? I don't. Maybe once upon hmm. a time, but like over time, I just feel like Nas. He's a lot more conscious. Well, some of his music was a lot more conscious. Like that's what Jay was. Me- he's, he's, that's what he was messing with him about mm-hmm. on, on the disc. Is it Black Girl Loss or you know whatever? Yeah. What, 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 what are we rapping about? You know what I'm saying? So yeah, that's why I feel like they're just kind of two different era. Like there are two different of kinds of rappers that can't be compared. Yeah, yeah. Hmm. I just don't. I just don't compare. Them. Okay. Yeah. And apparently, I was thinking about another uh, album. Uh, what a time to be alive. So damn. What I got that shit. Wait, what wrong. album is that? What time to be? That's alive? the one with Future and. Why y'all didn't correct me? I had the album wrong. If you're reading me, if you're reading this, is too late. Versus what a time to be alive. I, I had that entirely wrong. I knew what you was trying to say. I, 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 I didn't know. Oh. <laughs> I need help. Come on, y'all. Next time, uh, I'm gonna pay more attention to fix it. Yeah, appreciate it. Yeah, normally y'all do that, but it don't matter. It's it's all good. Donald Van, if you had to play Santa this year, the nice kids are getting this album and the naughty kids are getting this one. <laughs> That's Jack so me. I knew you were gonna do that. It's what I'm putting in the stocking. God. I'm putting a Jack Harlow album in your stocking, bro. So that's the worst album for you this year? I think so. Damn. It's between that and maybe the Roddy Rich. I was about to say the Roddy Rich uh, take this age poorly in the week because you said it was worse than Jack Harlow last week. Uh oh. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. It said that's why I said it's either that or, or Roddy Rich. Yeah, yeah, it's one of it's one of, the, yeah, it's either wow. that or Roddy Rich. Y'all are, damn. but I don't want to be mean to Roddy Rich though. That's the thing. That's the difference. Why you want to be mean to Jack Harlow? He seems like an all right guy, except for having black people carry him around. Other than that, right? <laughs> 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 like what the fuck, dude? Uh, uh-uh. uh. Nah. I bet I bet if Jack Harlow came in for an interview, he seems like he'd be a very respectful Absolutely. and friendly guy. Absolutely. I know nothing about Roddy Rich. Absolutely. So I can't I'm speak strictly on that. talking about his music. Yeah, like, that's it. I don't know. That's it. Like I did not between enjoy those him. two. I don't know because I didn't like Roddy Rich either. Yeah, that's a hard one for me. You don't know what you were putting somebody like a bad like a bad. I album? don't. I mean, I don't know which one of those I would think was worse. Oh, like so it's, it's those two for you as well. Out of everything I've heard this year, those are the ones that I enjoyed the least. Yeah, yeah. Um, I would probably go with your answer. I'd probably go Jack Harlow, mm-hmm. just because I feel like. There might be an occasion for me to throw on a Roddy Rich album. Like if I was throwing a picnic or like a barbecue, mm-hmm. I could see myself throwing on a Roddy Rich just for everybody to like oh, have a okay, good time. Because yeah. they're not going to want to listen to fucking my shit. No one wants to listen to fucking LP or like Aesop Rock at a fucking mm-hmm. barbecue. But that's I couldn't, I couldn't put, sweat. huh? That's not going to get the hoes wet. 
That's, that's, that's not going to get the hoes wet. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, Black Rise. Yeah, moving on. Ew. Nas released uh, Ether on December 4th, 2001. So happy uh, Ether Day. My question. Oh, he did? That was, oh, that's dirty. Mm. Oh, on his birthday? Oh, that was on his birthday. Is that really what happened? That's what he Is said. Is that factual? Oh, I don't know. God. That's mean. That makes oh, you win the battle auto- automatically. Yeah, that's, that's You dirty. drop a diss on somebody's birthday? So, so the question is, does Nas's wow. King Disease series change where you rank him all time? If not, if he's not your number one. I think it definitely moved him up. Absolutely. Yeah. No, nah, yeah, yeah this, this run is making him, this, this is why he's Nas. Absolutely. Like, for sure. Just in case you forgot. Mm. Nah, for sure. This has been probably, for me at least, one of the most impressive runs I've ever seen at, in my time of being alive. Oh, somebody said, wow, he sure did on K-Slay mixtape. That's fucking mean. God, That's please. really mean. That I was feel di- bad That's diabolical. Today. That really Damn. is. That really is. Damn, Damn Nas. I did not know that. See, that makes either that much better. It does, mm-hmm. You drop it on this man's birthday, he out there celebrating, oh, blowing out <laughs> candles. <laughs> Niggas say happy comes. Ether Day. That's crazy. Like, that's crazy on this oh, man's birthday. Oh, man. That is really fucked up. <laughs> uh, knowledge. Uh, Chris Brown doesn't get the, recogni- get the recognition he deserves. All right. For what? So we just Trey had, Wild, so yeah. You said the first he hit, somebody man. said that. <laughs> we just said trying. He oh, he God got hit. Damn. Huh? <laughs> so he was what? what happened? I'm trying to keep going. What happened? Oh shit! Oh. Uh, Trey Wild G, pick one. Uh, TDK slash the Batman, the Dark Knight. Oh, the Dark Knight. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I was thinking those cassette tapes. Me too. I was like, I was so that's why I was, you know, Spider Man versus No Way Home. Spider Man Two slash No Way Home. Wait, what's the what's the person? Repeat the whole thing. Yeah. It says pick one, the Dark Knight slash the Batman versus Spider Man Two slash No Way Home. It's gonna be the Dark Knight for me. Yeah, me too, man. That thing is, yeah, yeah, mm. yeah. Dark Knight for me. Yeah, unfortunately, not saying. Yeah, go ahead. Um, no, you were talking. My bad. Go I was ahead. gonna say not saying the Spider Man joint isn't good because it actually is. But no, nah, that Dark Knight, man, it just, it just, it's just something different about that mm-hmm. one. I think I might go with your answer, but it's for the Batman actually. Hmm. Michael Rich. I don't, I don't Rich. care about y'all's little hmms. I don't care. <laughs> I stand on my shit. Y'all little, I know it was Zay. I hear like, he had like three or four hmms. He said, hmm. he said I didn't say that. <laughs> <laughs> like, man, I'm just. I old. know your hmms versus his hmms. Your hmms are a little mumbly. You stupid. Uh, <laughs> Michael Rich. Um, appreciate it, man. He just sent in a donation. Just showing love. Thanks for doing these streams. Yeah. Uh, Sam, Mike, Double Downtown. I guess that was earlier. Damn, bro. Uh, Arturus, yeah, um, yeah, not back down, bro. Damn. Bro. Uh, just sent in a super chat, uh, nothing attached, so appreciate it. Uh, DP, yo, how how is going, guys? What album or EP do you guys think went under everybody's radar this year? Thanks, peace. Um, we actually got a little series going out, coming mm-hmm. out about that. We actually have two yeah. things dropping um, later as a live, right? We're doing a live about albums we no, wish we reviewed. Um, Okay, conversation. So be on the lookout. We got we got yeah. to answer that question. I mean, I can answer one right now. Um, yeah, I think one that went on. The, I don't know if it it didn't go on the mics radar, but uh, a Kai Solo's EP Body Filler. Yeah, it was his. Uh, I want to say it's his debut on Backwoods. So I, I do have a, a mini review coming out about Body Filler. So yeah, be on the lookout for that. That's an EP though, right? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. He said EP. Oh, he said EP. He said EP. I don't I think it really matter. Album more EP. Yes. Yeah, oh yeah. my my fault. I missed that part. Yeah. <clears throat> uh, producer JSB, uh, you can't do this type of video with these stubborn dudes. LOL, by the way. All of Mike's reviews of Jermaine Cole aged poorly. They did. Cole World, no blanket, uh, hashtags. They did. <laughs> they did. They did. Samuel Crescento, uh, J. Cole, definitely average till off season. Black Damn. Roz, can y'all consider some video reviews of either Babyface Ray's new album? Came out Friday or Ice Wear Vezo slash DJ Drama Mitz tape that comes out this Friday. Who is Babyface Ray? Yeah, the rapper. Uh, out of Detroit, right? See, see how he is. Yeah. Bro? See how he is. He said we need some dead end Detroit hustle music video reviews. I so it's it. hustle music. I, see, I have to ask see? B you could you could have just called. said that, Kevin. See, right? Yeah, it's rude, bro. <laughs> <laughs> um, I saw the Babyface Ray did drop Friday, so 
we'll have to see if we can fit him in the schedule. I saw it, but I didn't know what it was. I didn't know if he was he. You know, it was a it was actual. He's up and coming. Okay, and he's yeah. a po- he's a popular guy. Yeah, he's there. on the rise. Okay, cool. So, Good for so him. it's Ice Vezo. Yeah, I've, I've listened to Babyface Ray. They're not gonna like it. But. You don't know what the fuck we right. like. Right, that's why they be knowing us and I shit. I know. Y'all don't be knowing shit. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Ophelia's Maximus. Uh, here's one from Chance the Rapper. I just met Kanye West. I'm never going to fall. And then he dropped the big day. See, that is fucking oh. rude. <laughs> that is so mean. That I guess that mean. did age poorly. Yeah, yeah, age real poorly. <laughs> Drink more water. Uh, I did for the top five albums mid year and end of the year. Uh, you guys should do a first half top five and second half top five. Uh. Then the overall yearly top ten. That way you can include more albums. Uh, okay, I gotta process that. Y'all act like we ain't got nothing it. to do. Mm-hmm. That's a lot of work. It is a lot of work. Hey, uh, Patreon would y'all only drop get that the bag. One. Y'all drop that bag like For real. Say, look, you put us on that Fantano payroll. Look, we pay. <laughs> <laughs> then you get whatever review you want. <laughs> All right, we're almost done. Uh, Quandell, who will win a tag team match? Ken and Fantano or Drake? And 21 Savage. What? I guess me and Fantano versus Drake and 21 Savage. But y'all fighting? You said tag team. Tag team. Mess, I guess, yeah. It really depends on the match type here. Um, <laughs> oh, Jesus. That's what I'm saying. Is, it, is this a ladder match? There's so many questions to be It's asked. a regular match. It's a regular tag team match. Yeah. Okay. I don't trust 21. Why? 21, they had that basketball league and 21 was on the bench. And it, it, it was falling from the See, I shoot. No way. <laughs> He's about to say he's going to shoot a nigga because they were falling from playing See. basketball. Nah, he was. Oh, I, I think I saw that video. You yeah. literally yeah. see him go from just like smiling and laughing. Oh, I saw that. And then he went and grab, grabbed the gun. Somebody went, maybe I'm thinking about another one. He grabbed a gun for a. Somebody was really yeah. Really somebody was playing basketball and they were talking shit oh, and he went and grabbed man. the gun and walked. Well, he back was trying. He thought they, it was all jokes. It was like a hard file. I know what you're talking about because I was mm. actually with the guy that uh, produces that show. Oh shit! Start on him, Rod. Mm. Go bro, ahead, I mean, it bro. was a quick start. It just so happened to be I was with that guy. But uh, so what happened? So uh, he uh, so it, it was a hard file. You know, when you playing yeah. ball or whatever, and, and, and you know, hard fouls you usually can be like, you know, laugh it off or whatever or whatever. And he and that's what Twenty One did at first. Mm-hmm. But then the dude got serious. He's like, "Oh, you trying to get gangster or whatever?" And, and that's and that's what happened. Why would you do that to Twenty One? I don't know. If he was trying to. He was joking about. It, he was laughing about it. He was cool. Look, man. But then you tried to try to you know pull his card, and he's like, "Oh, oh, we can get gangster." I was just trying to, you know. So he really did go get his gun. I don't know about that part. Oh, okay. I don't know. I I just know the the guy that produces the show. I don't know what actually happened. Gotcha. Yeah, 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 yeah. Anyone with a fucking tattoo in the middle of their forehead, don't try yeah, him. Just like, leave what? him alone. Of a knife. All right. Yeah. Like, what do you think this says, bro? <laughs> This is not Ash Wednesday and no shit like that. Like, it's a knife <laughs> in the middle of my fucking forehead. What do you think this means? Leave me the fuck alone. They're like, look, they say Ken don't even need Fantano to take care of them. That's a damn... Well, Drake... Man. Well, no, Drake get... Didn't he get... Drake kinda, a little swole now. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Nah, you might need Fantano. I don't know if Fantano... I need there. Fantano. Because both of them black, so I need the white guy to kind of... Look, Drake, Drake not even getting the ring. He's just going to make 21 do the whole thing. <laughs> I, I take 21. I, bro. Would you do, do something, something for me? me. <laughs> <laughs> he don't write his rap, so I can see him not fighting his fights. Right. Yo, I legit think Drake would try to fight Fantano, though. I definitely think Drake would try to fight Fantano. I think he would, He man. told him his life is a light. What was it? Bro, was it? Light one. A light one. And he was talking about his wife. Like, bro. Oh, he did talk about his wife. Bro, that I think cool. he would legit try to fight Fantano. And I think Fantano would handle his business. I'm not saying that he wouldn't. No, I know you're not, but I'm yeah, saying yeah, yeah, I yeah, don't yeah. know. I'm just saying I just think Drake would literally j- j- try to fight him. I think he would actually fight him. Yeah, I think that's he crazy. would too. Over, man, that's so silly, man. Over, the ra- over a rap Over some reviews, yeah, bro. That's crazy. silly. Because y'all could be friends. Y'all yeah. could be friends. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, I'm sure Drake is probably a fun guy to hang out with. You know? Drake is? He probably. I don't think so. I would think he's a fun guy to hang out with. He's probably, uh, he, you don't think so? I don't think Drake would be fun to hang out with. Why? Um, I don't know. Well, let me, let, me, let me read oh, the rest sorry, of Oh, sorry. Yeah. My bad. Uh, Donald Van, after beating yourselves up the whole show, what's the take you think you got absolutely right? 
a told y'all mugs moment. I do feel like mm. I have some of those. I feel like we all got quite a few of those. I can't think I just of a single think one of for me. Right now. <laughs> well, I'll read one that somebody said I got. Okay. okay. Producer, it's in that super chat. A take that age well was Ken saying our future will blow up and Frank Ocean will be the commercial guy to help propel them to the mainstream. Mm. Oh, oh, that's wow. not true, though. He kind of did. Frank he was Ocean the first was, one. He was the first one to just yeah. kind of get on the, on the Frank mainstream. Frank Ocean propelled Odd Future to the mainstream? I won't say he I propelled him, did. but he was one of the first ones. No, Tyler Well, he was said not. propelled, and I said that I don't agree. Mm. You think it was Frank Ocean that propelled them into the mainstream? I can't remember. He got their name out there. Frank yeah. Ocean got big before the rest before of Before the rest of them. Before Tyler did? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Really? Yeah. 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 Yeah, he got big. I know it was, them. but I always thought Tyler was always bigger. No. Mm -mm. He, okay. was, he was bigger to like rap heads like y'all. But mainstream, mainstream, it was all Frank. Really? Uh, Absolutely. Mainstream to Igor. Like yeah. Igor and Flower Boy. Yeah. Know, for that, Cherry Bomb and everything else. People like, like yeah, like it really? wasn't, it wasn't okay. getting general people. But Frank, Frank had everybody. Okay. Nah, yeah. You don't think of any? Um, <laughs> Somebody said it could be a separate video, but I don't know if we have time the rest of the year to do that it. That could be a separate video. I like the positive take on this. Okay. Yeah, I like that. We can revisit it. Um, hmm. Arturus, hi from Lithu Lithuania. All right. Have Come you listened to most devs ecstatic? Yeah. Re oh, Rex Static, remixed entirely by DJ Preservation. Very good. No. Mm -mm. Topic idea, favorite remix albums, tracks. I haven't listened to that either, but yeah, I I'll check it out. Famous, favorite re remix albums? Yeah, yeah, tracks. Track. So yeah, mm -hmm. uh, put that one down, please, gentlemen. Thank you. Um, Ed Warlock. So two more, mm -hmm. two more. Uh, have you guys ever listened to South Park Mexican? I have, and I cannot tell you how I came across mm. this rapper. His name is South Park South Mexican. South Park Mexican. Mm. Is he at least I, Mexican? Uh, let me Google and see. But oh, I have definitely listened. Uh, I'm pretty sure. It's like FIFO rap name. I always hey. See, this one we can't do live. This is exactly why. I keep trying to tell them. <laughs> that was racist as fuck. <laughs> it's only with FIFA. It's only, I swear. I only make these jokes with, about FIFA. I promise. I promise I only make these jokes about FIFA. <laughs> I call them everything but Cuban. It's just, it's just FIFA, I swear. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but um, but yeah, I don't, I don't know how. It, yeah, it's, it's it's weird. But I I I've listened I listen to so much shit that you know. But yeah, okay. Uh, that was the last one. Nope, last oh. one. Uh, Devonte uh, thought Dead End was over some years back because how tense the oh. shows would be sometimes. Glad I was wrong, and see you guys still going strong. Did that one age poorly? No, that okay. aged very well. <laughs> he said he, he said he thought it was going to be done because it. I mean, there were many times it was almost done. Well, at least for me, I can't mm. speak for them. Mm. All right, and that was it. Do we have Juice track? Well, we have what? Juice Washington. Oh, boy! <laughs> I thought he turned into Kanye West. <laughs> what the I know, fuck your, did your he just eyes, say? Your eyes when he said they it. They did, Buck. Bro, <laughs> bro, you said, man. Oh, not Jew Ooh. tracks, not Jews, Jude, like hey Jude, oh, the Beatles. <laughs> uh, let's let's play. We, I said that uh, we would we would listen to a song. <laughs> man, my heart is still beating. I really <laughs> thought this man said. You know, as Woo. as wild as I am, I don't think I've ever went that far yet because they man. they'll shut us all down. I oh, we about to said, listen to a, a, a track live. Well, let's do it. Yeah, man. we told him we would do it last year. We sure did last last week. week. Oh, is he in the chat? He is in the chat, and he paid money. What's his and name? Look, and he talked this track up real he did. high, and he's too. still talking shit in the, in the chat. Okay, here we go. I think I hope it's not the one I listened to on online. Oh shit! No, I played it. Now I really want to hear it. play this. Shit. Okay. Bro, Jalen is doing you dirty, man. Start his shit over. No, I don't think this is it. Okay, this is something different. This ain't it. I think somebody tried to impose as him. Because <laughs> they knew we wanted to lose. Oh, that's fucked up. <laughs> 
Is this the right track? <laughs> Wait. Stop, y'all. Give this man his respect with the track. They said turn it up. No. <laughs> turn that shit up, dog. Why Who fucking up his track? No, there ain't. Wait. <laughs> Hold on. Wait. All right. Wait, wait, wait. Hold on. Mike, let's wait. wait. <laughs> Yo. The man get his breath. Yo, wait. 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 All right. Wait. <laughs> wait. 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 All right. It. Oh, shit. It sounded like it had potential, like, with the beat. Like, I thought the what? beat. No, no, listen. Kevin, stop. Listen, listen. Yo, listen. <laughs> listen. Kevin. The beat was interesting. The beat interesting. was interesting. Mm. Okay. Ah, uh, wait. <laughs> the fuck, <laughs> man. Yo. The beat was interesting. It was interesting. It could be it could be like, you know, cleaned up a little bit, but I kind of like the dirty feel of it. I I I was feeling the dirty feel of it. Um, you tell Jason to go home. Uh, but um yeah, like, and, and I also was feeling like the little, the little, uh, the, the, the whatever was on his voice that was fine too. The little distortion thing was kind, was was cool. I was okay with that, but yeah, man. At first, I thought he was doing like an alt kilter type rap, and I said this before about people that sent, you know, that that's paid us, you know, to, you know, for our opinions on their music. Um, you got to have a really good skill set in order to pull that off. I don't know if that's what he was trying to do. Or is if or if it's if he just can't rap. I don't know if it's one of the I don't know which one it is, but whatever it is, it just wasn't enjoyable to me personally. That's my take. Man. What? <laughs> That's my take. That's my take. That's your take? Yes. Okay. Somebody tell this man the truth. That's a bad take in an age four. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm joking, Jude. I get what Rod is trying to say. Look, what I'm, I'm trying in, to say. Yeah, I do. I do get what you're trying to say. I get the whole like, if you're trying to do the off kilter thing, then that's one thing. But it's hard to tell if you're intentionally trying to be off kilter or you're just bad at rapping. I just said the same. I, and that's why I said I'm a. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you said you get what I'm trying to say. Oh. <laughs> I guess I did just repeat what you said. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, wait a minute, I'm fucking... He's like, that's not what I tried to say. I'm that's like, why I said stupid. <laughs> I, I was like right. in a Twilight Zone for a second. I'm like, wait. Look, I'm man, not... this track threw me off. Okay? <laughs> look, look, even for someone that likes... Look, Jude, and you can't really get mad. Because like, no, I, don't, you... I don't think we're being disrespectful yet. But you can't really get mad. Why? Because I haven't said anything? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but look, you sent the song in, and you hyped it up. That's the first problem mm. we are not and i'm not trying to be like pretentious or like bigging ourselves up but we're not your average just dude who happened to like a little bit of hip-hop like dude no we've listened to a lot of shit intentional and unintentionally so you sending this song in and being like man no y'all gonna fuck with it i'm dope da, 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 and then we hear it it's really it, it really wasn't that great man i think that you have potential because i feel like you're trying to do a certain thing but it's not quite landing yet I think you need more practice. I definitely think you need to go to someone that can mix and master your music properly. Because part of the issue was it sounded like it was recorded bad, like on a boombox. That's part of the issue. But yeah, if you're trying to be like a Mahami or something like that, then I think you need a lot more practice before you start sending your music to critics <laughs> and being like, y'all are going to fuck with me and I'm dope. That's my take. Mm. Oh, Jesus. I don't get any of it. You don't get any of what? Anything I just heard. Yeah, it, I mean, it, it, it wasn't great. Um, 
I, I, starting out, I I was like, okay, the the, the beat. Yeah. You talking about the beat? Mm-hmm. Yeah. I was mm-hmm. like, okay, shit, Jew about to kill this shit, and Jew died. Um, Mm-mm. and uh, nah, I didn't. It mm, it didn't. Mm. Y'all gave good advice. Mm. <laughs> Y'all gave good advice. Yeah. Y'all gave good mm-hmm. advice. Amen. Um, better than I have to give. Um, <laughs> but. And I, I think we're just gonna leave it at leave it at that. Okay. Uh, there's work to do. Yeah, mm-hmm. there's work to do. Yeah, um, we got work to do. <laughs> I got, I got work, baby. <laughs> Cause this song wasn't great, baby. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, but nah, man. You know, um, I I, I your bravery it is <laughs> no. is definitely spot. Look, man, it takes a lot of balls to send this shit to us. But see, that's, the, that's the problem. I don't think it's bravery. I think he's too cocky for his own good. And I think that's where his issue's gonna come in. He's gonna hear us talking about, man, these old heads don't know what the fuck they're talking about. And he's gonna keep putting out shit like this. Bro, June and then, gone, bro. June left because y'all were being rude. Who y'all been rude to Jude. See, I'm right, bro. I do this, Jude. <laughs> <laughs> you, know what I'm you know what I'm saying? Hit me up with that Quentin Miller money. I might do something for you, bro. Nah, he, he sounds like he's too cocky. And he's not going to take the advice of you need to do more work and work harder at this. He's not going to take that. If anything, he's probably just going to get mad and say we're hating on him. He did say he would. He wouldn't send in any whack shit. I, I, he, I, he did say that. It's not our fault. He did say that. Mm. Um, he did ask us to listen to it. He did. Wow. Did he ask us to listen to it live though? I feel like that was kind of foul. I said. Did he specifically we, I said, we about say to do live? This live? I said we want to do this live. I said it. Yeah, I, I said it. I'm yeah. agreeing with you. That was kind of wrong. <laughs> <laughs> did he specifically say he wants us to do it live? I can't remember. See, I thought you said he said it. I thought he did too. too. Oh Lord. Oh Lord. <laughs> <laughs> it's all good, man. No, it's not. He ain't really, he's probably embarrassed now. I would much rather get a private email being like, "Yo, you're kind of not good." <laughs> Damn, to, Doug. <laughs> y'all, y'all, y'all did say last week y'all was gonna come on y'all on this live and let them know how the song. We did say that. Yeah. So and what did he way, say? I mean, oh, know, okay. This reaction is just not everybody else gets the song. But if you thought he was that good, he was trying to get that. I'm about to say he gets the song. So he can't come and email Pocket and then get give him a feeling to leave though. So. That's not how that works. I feel you. That yeah, <laughs> yeah, that's yeah. Like, that's like me coming around like Ron. I want you to tell me exactly what I did wrong with whatever video. Maybe like I don't even know. Oh, but you don't want that. <laughs> yeah, man. Yeah, I feel like if you, you, you look, you should have sent this to some of your friends and let them give you honest feedback before you came this cocky at us. But that's what he did. That's why he asked y'all because his friend said he sounded real good and then he wanted y'all's opinion. Okay. That's what he said in the, in the, in the super chat. I don't like, think we should have done that man live like that. But I'm looking for the confirmation, but nobody's confirming that that happened. It's good. I- there are some people who might want y'all to view their stuff live. I mean, we could make it a thing. Damn, if my bad, dude. I feel bad, bro. You should feel bad. My- if we get specific requests to do live reviews, I think we should do them. No, I don't think we should do them. <laughs> I don't think it'd be fun, but, you know. Well, not not maybe live. Maybe not live. That's what I'm saying. Not yeah, live. maybe live, like a pre-recorded thing would be cool. I hope yeah. we really did. I, damn. I don't think bad. he asked for this shit live, but either way. It is what it is. The right? best advice that any of us can give you is to keep Stop. practicing. <laughs> yeah. I can't with you, dog. I Bro, cannot with you, dog. That's what the microphone said. <laughs> you go. See? You go. See? Come on. Hey, see? hey no. We, we see? got... Uh, just, go, uh, uh, go, all right. Ryan, load I feel bad. Oh, John is loading up. It was a joke. Look, it was a joke. You right now. It was a joke, Jude. It look, was a joke. Look, it was a joke. All right, look. Let me close this thing out. Look, look. look. Apologize to Jude, man. Thanks for saying... Paul, I gave him. I gave, I gave him an honest critique. Apologize like, for, for us doing them live like this. I, it's not. I'm not the one. I'm the one that's saying. Look, but you're the host. Do... You got. You got to apologize for all of us. You're the host. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, look. If you didn't want us to review it live, <laughs> we apologize. But in my opinion, I don't think like we gave you. Uh, uh, what do you call constructive it? Constructive uh, criticism. Uh, constructive criticism, thank you. Uh, we gave you constructive criticism, man. Like, like, look, it's it's not like, yo, stop rapping. We didn't say that. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Ken might have said it, but <laughs> the majority rules here. Majority rules here. Mike and I were like, yo, you know what I'm saying? Just, you got, it's room for improvement. You know what I'm oh, saying? Shit. So, yeah. 
Anyway, man. So yeah, sorry if you didn't want it live, but yeah, you got it. If you you did, left, you know. bro. Yo, <laughs> you was out. You yo, left. Yo, I'm trying to close it out. Look, Look all right. Jude already closed it out. I would like to say also. <laughs> Come on, man. <laughs> I would like to say also, man. Thank y'all for tuning into another live. As always, man, it's greatly appreciated. We try to do these uh, <clears throat> every Sunday at two. <clears throat> Excuse me. Damn. Holidays bro. are coming up though, so we're gonna have. I'm gonna talk to Ken about some ideas I have as far as uh, the lives are concerned. Um, so, so yeah, be on the lookout for some, even if we're not here um, until we get back in the new year. Um, I do like the suggestion of um, and the positive spin on um, hip hop opinions that aged well. I do like that because uh, I think we do have a lot of opinions that kind of age pretty well. I know Mike has quite a few, um, but I just can't I think right do? now. Oh. Yeah, 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 yeah. You've I had some opinions that age really well. Okay. Um, so yeah, I, I will like to visit that one. Um, so yeah, send in, send in some of those some of the, some of those to us. But um, other than that, man, be on the lookout for the uh, Dead and Hip Hop Posse Cut. Y'all can then judge us harshly on our lyrics Shit. and stuff. You know, what I don't even want to rap no more. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all about to tear me up. But uh, yeah, man, look, I'm looking forward to that. You know, we might be whack too. We'll see. We'll see how that turns out. <laughs> Talk, we'll, speak for yourself. You know what I'm saying? We'll, we'll, we'll see how that turns out. But look, I'm ready. I'm ready, man. I'm ready for the uh, for the posse cut. No. So yeah, we'll be recording that soon. Um, we're going to be documenting that as well. So yeah, be on the lookout for the Dead and Hip Hop posse cut. Um, but other than that, man, yo, about to be out. Thank you for tuning in.